Open Data, yet Federal Junior, welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Database Administration Series. Now, our, our topic for today is about is about uh, the X based programming. So what we need to do is to create a we're going to create a project afterwards the designer next to it we have the table and on the table uh, what we need to do is to create fields so that we can input records so before you can do that, what you need to do is to create folder right here on the desktop. The folder. Then we're going to make this as class list. And if you're going to double click, hey, there should be the folder is empty. Identifying that the folder is empty. So now let's move back to the, our database programming. So you need to do is to click File, then you can go to New or Control N in a keyboard. Then the, in the file type window, there's a what do you call project. You can click New File. Then you will notice it will go directly to the uh, subfolders of the program files factor so the folder we created is already on the desktop so you can click desktop there's a what do you call blast folder double click on that then click save afterwards the project will be created and it should be as a project manager you can click data you can click databases and you can click new then you can click new databases Imagine right here, it should be inside the class list folder. The name is data1, and this is the, what we call the designer. So let's click save. And here is our designer. Okay. So what you need to do is to click uh, right click. You can go to new table. Then on the new table, there's a what we call enter table name. So there is table 1, you can click save. Now we already finished the table, so there is what you call the fields. So what we need to do is the fields we have intended for the class list in BSIT 3.1 year 2020-2021. Now uh, there is what you call the stood number. So we can specify that as num character 10. So we have uh, a stud name. Okay. So we have the mobile mobile number. Then we have the the email. And last, I think we have the delivery mode. Okay. So to make it uh, short, delivery mode okay then character now afterwards so what we need to do is to click um, this one okay then we have here the database designer which I mentioned after you create your project you have your designer you have your table now on this table what there is a what you call fields we already created now let's input records in it Okay, so if you right click, so you can click browse. Then on the browse, so we have here the table. Okay, so we have the project, the designer, the table, the fields, and the last one is record. So you can click now view, and what you need to do is to click append mode. Now uh, you can type right here student number. For example, 20, 21, 0001. OK. 
Okay, so next we have the sea plane. So we have some data. So mobile number zero nine like that. Then email. Uh, X Y Vidalia. Okay, so next uh, delivery mode online. That's it. So our next uh, record we have. Uh, for example, 20, 21, 0002, then let's see, Villarreal, it's only an example, then the mobile number is 0998, then uh, Villarreal, email, online. So we already finished, don't forget to click save okay so click file so control s under the keyboard okay control s you can close this now close and close so um, so what we need to do is to check out uh, our database so we can type a what do you call text based programming code okay so let's check out and what uh, what code is that so the code is very simple list enter now it will talk about what table to the list so you can click table one then you can click ok and you will notice that the record number, the student uh, name, student number, the student name, the mobile number, delivery mode. Okay. So uh, so we are finished with a very simple uh, X based programming. Now let's move on to a what is so called SQL command. Okay. So right now we are now in the SQL select command. Okay? As our topic. Now uh, to make an SQL command, what you need to do is to type select. Okay? Then asterisk from then we have the table name and our table name is table 1 let's press enter that's it so we are already finished with the query uh, select asterisk from table 1 now uh, we, we discussed already that asterisk represents all okay how about if there is no asterisk in the SQL so we can close this one we can type select and as it is uh, describing the identification like student number student student name comma email comma mobile number comma and delivery mode from table table one enter that's it so the the two, the two codes which is the sql select command the second one is the identification the identification of the data source which is included the table one and the last one is describing the asterisk okay describing the asterisk what it, it is on inside this asterisk and that's all for today hoping you learn something in our uh, video thank you and good luck